just tried to record this video um, for about 10 minutes. Uh, went to edit it in photo um, shop and uh, the wind is really causing issues with the sound, so I'm going to give it another shot. Um, if the sound's poor um, because of the wind interference, I apologize. Um, I will buy a condenser microphone sometime this week, so I don't have to deal with that moving forward. That being said, um, this is going to be the first of my weekly vlogs um, of themed on, you know, a guy just deciding to reinvent himself by leaving his old lifestyle and trying a new one. Um, so kind of to kind of give everybody a brief history, um, in about May of 2021 which is this year I decided to quit my job um, I was rather impulsive I quit my job without notice um, I decided to put my house on the market um, with the idea of selling my house and with the proceeds um, moving down to Florida but at the time to live in a modular home in a retirement community and enjoy all those things that I enjoyed doing on Cape Cod in Massachusetts in the summer, which was kayaking, enjoying the water, exploring, walking my dog, um, you know, fishing, um, all of those things that were great in the summer, but what I wasn't able to do in the winter. And I found uh, over a number of years that uh, what was happening is I'd be very active in the summertime um, riding my e-bike, kayaking, going on trips, and then in the winter I just uh, fester indoors, drink wine, smoke too much, and do all those things that weren't good for me. Um, so, as I said back in May, I quit my job and put my house on the market. Unfortunately, I was hoping my house would sell very quickly, but due to a number of issues, um, it took a lot longer than I was hoping, and I didn't actually sell my house until mid-September. Um, all the time I'd be looking at modular homes, um, I'd kind of quite like the look of St. Petersburg. I'd got a lot of positive feedback about the place. Um, um, about two weeks prior to um, the sale of the house and leaving for here, um, I was doing a search on Facebook Marketplace and um, saw um, a boat. I'd, I'd done a search for a modular home and for some reason a boat came up and go figure. And I'm, I like the boat. It looked really cool. And I'm thinking, well, how much is a boat? How much does it cost to live in it? Um, at the time when I was looking at modular homes, um, the, lo the, lo the uh, lot fees were quite high. Sometimes as much as a thousand bucks. Um, so then I started looking into boats. Um, I've learned that, you know, since then that boats are quite an expensive proposition and you have to do, you know, a lot of maintenance and most people who buy a boat have to do a lot of repairs. But the slip fees themselves are actually, appears to be cheaper than living in a 55 plus community with uh, lot fees and uh, utilities and everything else. So, I went down to St. Petersburg, still looking at modular homes, and when I, when I got there, a the number of things happened. I didn't like the communities that I was looking at. They, it wasn't my thing. I, I, I really couldn't imagine myself living there. St. Pete's itself just wasn't me. Um, it's a little too busy. Um, traffic's appalling. having second thoughts about living in St. Pete's. Um, I'd seen this boat um, for sale on uh, Facebook. Um, I decided to come over to Cocoa Beach. Uh, uh, the boat um, was on Merritt Island, which um, is where the slip is. Um, I booked an Airbnb for like four or five days and then um, arranged to meet the owner um, we sat down, I kind of really liked the boat. Um, I had some concerns because uh, there was a fuel leak and there was some static gas, and I really didn't know what I was taking on, so I needed to do some research. Um, I 
needed to find an insurance company. Um, that being said, I paid the money for the boat after negotiating that, you know, I, I couldn't really buy the boat without replacing the fuel tank. Um, I had a survey done. The survey basically said that uh, there was a problem with the fuel tank that needed to be repaired and a couple of hoses and a bilge pump float need to be replaced, which those, those items to the side aren't that expensive to deal with. However, the fuel tank was an expensive item and the, the, the um, appraisal came back saying that, you know, that those were the repairs that needed doing. Um, the insurance company got the appraisal and said, we won't insure the, the boat until the repairs are done. So last Saturday, um, I had a friend um, remove the fuel tank. I, I, I paid him or contracted him to do the work. And um, he came in, um, removed the fuel tank. It's now with a, f a fabrication company who's making a new one, an exact copy of the original um, fuel tank. And hopefully in the next couple of weeks, that work will be done. And um, my friend will be able to install the new fuel tank, replace the, some hoses that need doing the flow. Bilge flow has already been replaced, and um, I can then insure the boat, take over the slip fees, which is still in the previous owner's name, just because um, I can't take over the slip until I have insurance. You know, it's like a catch-22 situation. So um, that's why we're out with that. Um, once that work is done, able to have the insurance in my name, the boat's already, I have the title, um, and um, you know, in effect uh, all of that will be taken care of, there's other work that needs to be done, um, I need to have the whole scrape, so because it's covered in shellfish and barnacles and stuff like that, um, so um, hopefully we can get that complete in the next, you know, month or so. Um, go from there and work towards living full time on my boat. Um, so, over the last week, um, one of the things I did is I took a course in boat safety, which um, you can take online, and I <laughs> took an exam, uh, passed my flying class, so I got my boat safety card for Florida, which hopefully will help with my insurance. And, um, one of the things I did, as far as work on the boat's concerned, I've started um, pressure washing the boat, boat's decks. I've um, been working on the AC unit that you can have to stay on, which I'm completely aware of. This Monday, probably on Tuesday, I'm going to be doing a little video to see what I was involved in doing that. Um, I've also been cleaning moving from the aft to the to the bow, cleaning inside the boat, getting it more um, ship shape if you like, um, more suited to my way of living and um, I'll kind of show you a video of that as well, kind of explain my thoughts on it. But um, anyway, um, that's kind of the more serious stuff. Um, I'm hoping to make some videos, get out on my e-bike, uh, do some touring around showing you some of the surrounding area. Coco Village is quite a nice place so I may go up there next week. Um, when the fuel tank's been reinstalled I'm probably going down to Key West and Key Largo and I'll do a vlog down there showing you that area because that's on my bucket list of a place I've dreamed of visiting since being a child so that should be cool. Um, yesterday I um, started um, something that I've wanted to do for um, quite a few years now and that's get a full tattoo sleeve so um, I managed to get a cancellation with the tattoo artist that I've chosen and so he started work on that which is um, gonna be a pirate theme I'm living on a boat it's got to be a pirate theme and um, I want to kind of fill you guys on and why I've chosen this way of life and why I think it's peaceful, why I'm a lot less stressed, a lot happier. And um, hopefully I can talk and see some of you soon. If you want to ask any questions, please don't 
hesitate to message me. If you just want to um, check in and FaceTime, please feel free. Um, other than that, I um, hope you all have a good week at work and um, I'll speak to you all soon. Goodbye.